Thomas Lincoln was born January 6, 1778, in Limble Creek, Virginia, to Captain Abraham Lincoln and Bathsheba Herring. His father sold their land in Virginia and moved the family to Springfield, Kentucky. He had a total of 5,500 acres of land. A major event in Thomas's life was the death of his father. While out in the fields planting tobacco, a Native American shot his father, killing him instantly. Thomas, in shock, stayed by his father's side. The native stealthily approached Thomas, but Mordecai, Thomas's older brother, shot the native from a nearby cabin. Mordecai inherited their father's estate, and Thomas went to find work. He served in the Kentucky militia at the age of 19 and became the Cumberland County Constable at 24. In 1802, he moved to Mill Creek, just north of Elizabethtown. In 1806, he ferried goods down the Ohio and Mississippi Rivers to New Orleans. He married Nancy Hanks on June 12, 1806. Throughout his life, Lincoln took on many jobs and was known as a wanderer, going from place to place. He was also a carpenter. On February 12, 1809, Lincoln's second child, Abraham, was born, the 16th President of the United States. The family moved again near Hodgensville, Nolan Creek. Lincoln and his family were very poor. The cabin at Nolan Creek was a one-room dirt floor cabin. Years later, his son recalled having holes in his socks and shirts. Lincoln lost farms three times due to the tumultuous Kentucky land laws. He was also unable to compete with the neighboring farms who had numerous slaves tending the crop. In 1816, Lincoln moved his family to Indiana. One of the reasons was because of his disapproval of slavery. The other was because of the land laws in Kentucky. His wife, Nancy, died on October 5, 1818. And on December 2, 1819, he married Sarah Bush Johnston. In 1830, he moved the family again to Illinois. He died in 1851 and is buried at Shiloh Cemetery. Historians differ on Thomas's relationship with his son Abraham. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Thomas Lincoln. He was the father of the 16th President of the United States. He lived and worked in Kentucky for a long period of his life. The interesting event in Thomas's life is the Native American attack that killed his father. If his brother hadn't shot the attacker, the course of American history would have changed. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Or you can become a member of our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to get more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms. And check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.